Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Many of you guys have requested an update to the uh, How to Root Your Galaxy Tab video I made. And uh, you're wanting one featuring 4.2.2, so that's what we've got today. This is the How to Root and Install Custom Recovery for the Galaxy Tab 2 7-inch running 4.2.2. So once again, I have to apologize because I don't have the actual tablet, but that's no problem because the process is virtually identical to my previous video. But I am going to walk you through the steps using my Note 2 here, uh, Samsung. So it's going to be virtually identical, the process. First thing we are going to need to do is get a couple files. And the links to these will be down in the description. First, you need to get the CF Auto Root. Uh, follow the link over to Chainfire's thread on XDA. You're going to get the CF Auto Root zip folder, and you're going to unzip it to get the uh, the folder here. Then you're going to need to get a some kind of recovery. Yeah, now it could be twerp, it could be Clockwork Mod, uh, it could be fills, whatever you want as long as it works for your model. There's three different versions of the Galaxy Tab 2 and you want to make sure you grab the one that is compatible for your model. Now I just grabbed this one for uh, demonstration purposes. The link down in the description will take you to the recoveries page over on XDA and it has all the files you will need you just want to make sure you get an ODIN flashable file. It's going to be a .tar file. You don't want the zip file, you want the .tar. Okay, well let's get started. Inside your CF Auto Root folder, you're going to have some files here. You're going to have the actual file that's going to be used to root the device, and then you're going to have this ODIN program. ODIN is how we're going to flash it. Now what this is going to do is we're going to flash this through Odin. It's going to temporarily install a custom recovery on your device so that the program can then go in and flash the root file and root your device. Then when it's all done it will replace the custom recovery that it put on there with the stock recovery. So you'll be back to stock recovery. So after that we will flash a permanent custom recovery. So the first thing we want to do is open up Odin. Now you want to go to your device and like I said I'm using the Note 2 but it's going to be exactly the same for your Galaxy Tab. You need to get into download mode. Now to do that you need to press the down volume and the power button. Now for my note, I also have to hold the home key, but you guys won't have a home key, so don't worry about that. And it will pop you into download mode. You'll get this window here, this screen here, with the little triangle telling you if you want to continue, press up on the volume, and we do. And now we're in download mode. Now we can plug it up to the computer. Okay. And we have uh, the yellow com light up there indicating that we are connected and it also says added down here at the bottom. So that's how we know we're good. Now you don't have to mess with any of these. They should all be set up the way you need them. We just need to come over here to the PDA section. And you want to click on that and you want to navigate to wherever that CF auto root file was. Here's mine. It automatically opened up mine. Double click it and it puts it into the PDA section. Now all you want to do is press start. It's going to quickly uh, throw up a progress bar here. You will get a very quick progress bar across your device here, screen here and then it'll say pass and your phone will reboot. Now, it'll boot up into uh, the screen with this red Android guide that looks a lot like this. 
get some information talking about how it's rooting it, it's clearing some cache, and uh, then reinstalling the stock recovery, then your device will reboot again. And unplug it from your computer and close down Odin. So now your tablet is rooted. Uh, it's time to go ahead and put on the custom recovery. Once again, we need to get back into download mode. Press the volume down and the power button at the same time. Once again, we get to this screen, press up, and now we're in download mode. All right, we're going to need Odin again. You can leave Odin open if you want from the last operation, but sometimes it has trouble resetting, so I go ahead and shut it down and, and open it back up. Once again, we need to connect our phone or tablet, and you're going to get your COM port again, and it says added once again. Now this time when you go to PDA, you want to search for wherever you have your .tar recovery file saved. Mine was on the desktop, so I just went to desktop and then added it. And then once again, it has the check mark, meaning that it is added and we're good to go. Just push start again, same process, you'll get a progress bar, you'll get a progress bar here. It's real fast and it flashes, it will then reboot again. And after it fully reboots, you can uh, download a root checker application from the Play Store to check, to confirm that you do indeed have root access. You'll probably see a super user app or a super SU app in your app drawer. And that's it. It's literally that easy, guys. Uh, you're rooted. You have a custom recovery ready to go. You're now able to uh, install custom ROMs and run apps that require root access. So, I hope that helps, guys. If you have any questions about the Galaxy Tab, or any of the stuff I cover in my videos, please leave a comment down below. And don't forget to check us out, mobiletechvideos.com. This is Sam. I'll see you next time.